please turn that music down. Turn it Name down. The Sorry, Mother. No, of course we'd love to have you, but it's five hours in the plane. Do you feel up to it? No, no, get the door. I'll call you later. <laughs> Mom, have you been smoking? Your clothes are going to ruin your dinner. Did my mother call from Florida to tell you to say that? Oh, she always says that. No, but she and your father did leave a message on the machine to tell you to have a good time tonight. Oh, they remembered. Did you remember to ask Dad how late Jenny and I can stay out? Oh, honey, I had a breakfast meeting and then a client came over to sign a lease on the new mall space and I... All the other kids get to stay out all night. Now, I know Dad's paying for the limo, but I can put the overtime on my plastic. Yeah, and I could split it with her. My parents left me their gold card. You did? Hey, Mom. Jamie, why don't you ask your father? Is that so difficult? Oh, I'm stuck. Reruns again? Catherine, somebody help me! Ma, I need this one more time. My initials are going to be MSG. Oh, Take this machine. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. There's all this. Don't work. Oh. Girls! Tonight's the big night. Do the guys still pay for the corsages, or is that old-fashioned? Dad. Drew, how'd you make out in math? You know, Jamie even looks different. The test was in history. What are you doing that's different? Hold still. What are you doing that's different? Um, Dad, about tonight... You losing weight? <laughs> are you kidding? Thunder thighs? Shut up, you gerbil. All right, you guys. She lightened her hair, Chuck. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it looks good, honey. Um, Dad, could we stay out? I saw Mr. Goodfellow today. Who? Jamie's teacher, Mr. Goodfellow. He wants her to apply to Harvard and Stanford. Seriously? You little monkey. Wait till the guys hear this. It'll take the wind right out of Frank's sails. I mean, he's always going on about sending his daughter to that Swiss finishing school. La -de -da. When do we eat? Right away, honey. Mix me a drink, will you, Catherine? Sure. I'm going to check with Bert about Sunday's game. Oh my gosh, this is just fine for me. I'll just go Too dear, stand. this might come as a shock, but tonight we're all gonna sit down at the table like civilized people and eat at the same time. They call it quality time, and God knows we don't spend enough of it together. By the way, how did you do in math? I don't know why either country needs so many nuclear warheads. Don't they teach you that at school? Look, Dad, they spend all this money on TV telling kids not to do drugs, but the kids don't care because they figure they're going to get nuked anyway. Yeah, yeah, well, that sounds like a cop-out to me. Wait a minute. Drugs? What do you know about drugs? I know where you get those ideas. It's a crazy music. What are you listening to? The news. We've been going steady six weeks. He has a sister, and Ron's the only guy I know who likes anchovies on his pizza. Is that enough? Be glad you're not an only child. Then you'd really get the third degree. See, I'm not so bad. I gotta ask Dad something. I'll be right back. Okay. Come here, I want to see if that bow is straight in the back. Is that okay? Gee, you gotta wear that dress more often. Makes you look like you got boobs. Too bad you don't have anything to make you look like you got brains. At least mine won't be getting as fried as yours will tonight. You look all grown up. Thanks. I hope I don't make a jerk of myself. You're gonna be fine. I mean, just think how many girls look like you are on their way to Stanford or Harvard. Great, Dad. Would you like me to wear a sign on my way to the Ivy League? You got it all going for you, kid. The world's your oyster. Um, Dad, you're probably gonna say no, but... All the other kids get to stay out all night, and there's going to be a whole bunch of us. As long as you're going to be with the gang. Okay. Have fun. We trust you.
everybody. You come through the door at the same time. Wait, no, no, wait a second. Wait, if you can't see the camera, so the camera can't see you. Say cheese. Cheese. Yeah, that's a, go by the limo. I, 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 I want to see you by the limo. Honey, I hope you're not going to be cold. I'll be Get all together. Get on the floor. Ready? Say cheese. Cheese. Honey, you look wonderful. You look good. Good night. You take care. Bye, Mom. Bye. Bye. I want to get a picture. You're going in the limo. All right. Take care. That's good. Come on. Bye, Mom. Good night. That Ron, he's a nice kid. Yeah. This makes me feel old. Do you realize our prom was 22, no, 24 years ago? Now oh, that's depressing. Say cheese. <laughs> you were such a pain in high school. Little Miss Pris from Boston. You thought everybody in California was one generation out of the trees. Could you blame me judging from those surf bums you hung around with? Still do. Crazy about you. Hey, why should the kids have all the fun? You forget your inventory, I'll let my spreadsheet slide, and tonight we'll fool around. How about? Won't. Have you? I did. Isn't that what this is about? And I've been paying for my mistake for the last eight months. Well, we've kept it together. That says something, doesn't it? For us, for the children. At least they don't know. And what they don't know can't. Can't you forget? even shows up. What? I'm gonna ask him to dance. But everybody's heard the dragons are packing heavy. Nothing's gonna happen to me.
Have you noticed any of your earrings missing? No. Why? Because your son is wearing one. Of mine? How the hell do I know? I went in to say goodnight, and he had it on. He's 13. Give him a break. That's what I mean. They grow up too fast. Did he ask you? Did you give him permission? No, I don't think so. Swell. Look, Chuck, I work too. I do the best I can. Besides, Jamie's always been your favorite. Everything about Drew upsets you. That's because all he ever talks about is a damn bomb. I mean, when I was growing up, all we worried about was whether blondes had more fun. I hate your damn smoking. Well, at least I don't do it in front of the kids. That's going to prevent cancer. You're making early death preferable. I'm sorry. What's gonna happen to him? The Tazzy swore he'd kill him. The elephant will back rock it. The dragons have put a hit on him. Jenny, isn't there anybody we can tell? Like who? If we tell the teachers or call the cops, our guys will kill us. And what about Adkins? <sighs> tell the principal what? You want Rocket to ditch you? No, but... Then forget it, Jane. You're with the Rocket. Do you know how many girls would like to take your place? You gotta chill out. Just stick with me when we leave, okay? I'll be right next to you, just like in Girl Scouts. <laughs> come on, come on, be there. Hello, this is an emergency. You I have reached the Los Angeles Police Department. All our lines are busy. Do not hang up. We will be with you in a minute. star, if it means anything. But it's definitely her. I'm sorry to put you through this, but we found two purses on the ground. The girls were in blue, and, well, the way she was shot, we didn't know. Jenny's parents are in Florida. I think we have the number. Oh, they'll be contacted immediately. I uh, have a couple of questions I need to ask you. Um, I need to know... Who were her friends? Excuse me, Sergeant uh, Mercurio. Where's our daughter? Um, we don't know. Most of the kids involved left the scene. You don't know where my daughter is? We were hoping you might. Well, she's, she's probably at home. Can we have Jamie's purse? We're going to. I'm sorry. What? I'm afraid the purse contained illegal narcotics. We have to hold it as evidence. Oh. No. Uh, no, wait a minute. My daughter is a straight-A student. Jamie's never, ever been involved with drugs. Whatever you found, this not And this to... better not go on her record for college, or there's going to be hell to pay. All right. We'll talk to your daughter tomorrow and get everything straightened out. I'm sure she's home by now. I want to go. Let's go. Chuck, old buddy, it's Bert. We tee off at 7, then we're all...
all gonna watch a game at my place. Catherine, darling, it's an emergency. Could you show the new mall space tomorrow? Oh, by the way, this is Harold. Night, night. Damn. She didn't leave a message. She's not in her room. All right, all right. First, we call Ron's parents. You know their number? Mia, I only met the kid twice. I thought you did. No, I, I never had. To... All right. What's his last name? Uh, Baskin. Oh, wait a minute. It, it might be Raskin. It's something like that. You mean you don't know the boy's last name? I think it's Baskin. Catherine, I, I don't understand. You and Jamie are so close. How can you not know? Well, his number's got to be in her address book. Bet it was a boy. Ron. What? The drugs in her purse. I bet they were his. I bet you're right. What's going on? Drew, you know the name of the boy that your sister went out with tonight? Rocket? Who the hell's Rocket? Didn't you just ask me? This is no time to be cute. Sweetheart, we're talking about Ron. Everybody calls Ron Rocket. Is that his last name? No. What's his last name? Raskin. At last. Well, tell me what's going on. Do you know the kid's phone number? Do you know where he lives? I think he lives with his mom mostly. His parents are divorced. Where's Jamie? Do you know Ron's mother's name? Does she still go by Rask? I don't know. I'll get it. Where's Jamie? Hello? It's the Bartmans. By the time I got your call, it was too late. LFN. Live for now. It's an all-white gang, mostly middle class. They sell crack, wear blue like the Creoles. I thought so. But over 500 gangs to keep track of, I figured I'd get my favorite expert to confirm. Mercurio, we both know that you love me for my donuts. Come on, I got some fresh coffee, too. Shakti, what is an Asian gang like the Dragons doing in the valley? Pushing drugs. But extortion's their game. They diversified. Probably moving in on the LFN market. Thinking that if they could knock off Rocket, maybe the white kids would run home to mommy. Yeah. Tazzy wasn't exactly waving a water pistol. Ballistics say it was a 44 Magnum. The Dragons took an Uzi off a gang in Temple City last week. Holy good night. We're up against 13-year-olds with machine guns. It's the same all over the country. Well, I think it's time I retired. Oh, that'll be the day. Any ideas what hole Tazzy crawled into? I got a few. I'll do some checking. You know what I'm afraid of? That the LFN are going to be out for revenge. And unless we get Rocket, this whole thing is going to blow up. The guys in narcotics have got enough to put him away. They want his gang out of business. But they're acknowledging the LFN? I thought the official line for you boys in blue is that there are no white gangs. Hey, I'm out there every day. And I find it hard to believe. Middle class white kids shooting at each other from BMWs. It's not like they're poor. They've got everything. Maybe that's your answer. Take care. OK. Blame you if you hated me. I feel so responsible. You asked me to take care of Jenny, and you know how much I loved her. Catherine. I was supposed to be comforting you. It'd be a hell of a lot easier if you weren't such a saint. I'm not a saint. When I first heard, I... I lost my mind. I wanted to kill you. I... I never thought I'd set foot in the same room with you again. I, I, I hated Chuck. I, I hated my husband for taking us on vacation. Of... <sighs> but then on the plane back, I had time to think. You know, it took me forever to get pregnant. 
Roger and I weren't even sure we could. And then Jenny came along. It was a miracle. Every day I said, thank you, God, for giving me this, this wonderful child. Joke? Why my daughter? Was it pre-planned? I can't help feeling it's my fault. I love my job, and in my head, I know I have the right to do something fulfilling, but in my heart, I, I always feel guilty about leaving the kids. I stayed home. Didn't mean a thing. I, I spent hundreds of hours with Jenny just doing things, but I... I, I I, I can't remember what we talked about, or, or if we even talked at all. I mean about the important things. You know, you take it all for granted, and... Well, you never expect your kid not to come home. Something to do. Anything. Lie to me. Tell me I'm imagining this. I can't believe it either. But Jenny. I'm sorry. I, I don't know how Roger and Penny got through the funeral. What made it even worse was that Jamie wasn't there. Nothing would have stopped her. We'll find her. Jamie's not dead, is she? No. I don't know. I think we'd feel it. We're such a close family, I think we'd feel something. I don't know. Yes, Sergeant. There you are. So? We've taken your report, put Jamie's description on the wire. Well, that's paperwork. Who's out there looking for her? We get 300 calls a day from missing kids and handle at least 5,000 runaways from all over the country. Jamie's not a runaway. I, I think she may be kidnapped or worse. Look, Sergeant, I know my daughter. If she were physically capable, she'd have called us by now. You must know where to look for her. I'm sorry. We'd have made an immediate search of the neighborhood if she were under 10. I'm sorry, she's 16. Look, 
We're doing everything we can, but you have just got to sit tight. Don't tell me to sit tight when my daughter may be in the hands of a maniac. For days I've tried working through the system and all I've gotten was a bunch of dumb excuses. I could do better. I could get out there and look for her myself. I mean, you've got thousands of kids to look for. I've only got one. Mine! Just wash it, please. Okay. Thank you. Take care. Hi. Hi. Uh, I'm looking for Shelly Raskin. What for? I want to talk to her about her son. Are, are you Shelly? Are you a cop? No. I'm Jamie Coburn's father. Oh, I don't know where she is. My son, neither. I mean, I hope they didn't run away and get married. It's lousy when you get married too young, you know what I mean? Do you have reason to believe that they... Oh, no. Just that. Jamie was around a lot. Hey, do you mind? I'd like to pay. I'm sorry. I'd like to talk to you. Would you like a cup of coffee? <laughs> That's original. I go on a break in about 10 minutes if you want to stick around. Great. OK. Thank you. So how'd you find me? A little birdie? <laughs> No, Jamie's at Westbrook. Uh, we called you at home, but there was no answer, so I tried here. Yeah, I know. I had a date. You married? Uh-huh. Did Jamie ever ask Yeah, you, you know, I used to be married, too. But then the jerk left me for this 20-year-old kumquat, and I had to go back to work. I mean, it's all my ex's fault, all this trouble Ronnie's in. He never, never, ever sees a kid anymore, you know, especially since that woman had a baby. And then I had this waitress job at night, you know, so I suppose the kid figured, why stick around the house alone, you know? Did Ronnie tell you where he was going? Do you think he might have taken Jamie with him? I don't know. He tried to hide it from me, but I found out that he's in a gang and into drugs. Anyways, I just said to myself, as long as he's going to school and he's coming home with those good grades and he's got those awards for sports and everything, that everything would be okay. I'm sure being a single mother's no picnic. Yeah, it isn't, you know? I mean, if you don't say nothing to them, then they think that you don't love them. And if you say too much, I was afraid that he'd get lost in the streets like them other kids. So how do you handle Jamie? I mean, you gotta say no sometime, right? How do you let her know you love her? Recognize any one of them? No, oh, it was worth a try. You know, the, um, the other day, I, I was a little. But I want you to know I'm here to cooperate. Good. Then I've got a few more questions for you. Sure. Before she disappeared, did your daughter seem depressed or withdrawn? Mm -hmm. uh, did she give away any of her things? Change friends? Have problems sleeping? Mm -hmm. Let her grades slip? Uh, stop caring about her appearance? No, as a matter of fact, she... Uh... Did she talk about death? No. Why? It's routine. We have to rule out suicide. Suicide? One kid in America kills himself every 90 minutes. I know Jamie is alive. Well, that about wraps it up. Her picture's gone to NCIC, the National Crime Information Center. So if she's picked up for anything, the police will know she's a runaway or missing. She won't be arrested? Running away isn't a crime, Mr. Coburn. It's a status offense, like curfew. No, I mean for the drugs in her purse. Well, she wasn't in possession of her purse, so I can't imagine the DA pressing charges. But if she does know about those drugs, I, she probably won't be too anxious to talk to us. Does this NC... Do they 
cover the hospitals. Jamie's had a shock. She could have amnesia. No, that's something you'd have to check out. Now what? We look around, you look around. Maybe we get lucky, she comes home. Lucky? That's it? We're on the street every day. I know, but you... You can't find my daughter, you can't find the murderer, you can't find my daughter's boyfriend. How could you let this happen? Look, I know this is your daughter. You've every right to be upset, so I understand. But the fact that she's out there is not our fault. Those kids were at a school function. I don't know why you parents don't ask the teachers where they were when the shooting took place. All right, Rocket, this way. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Back off. Where's, where's Jamie? Back it off. That's doing? enough. Leave him alone. Keep it. Rocket, you bastard. Where is she? What have you done with her? Well, anyway, Ron, Rocket, whatever the hell's name is, said that Jamie held on to Jenny's body after she was shot. And then he was afraid there'd be more shooting, so he dragged her into his car, and they spent the night in his sister's apartment. Jamie said he had a sister. What? Oh, it's one of the few things she told me about him, was that he had a sister. Well, anyway, he woke up the next morning, and Jamie was gone. Where? Where did she go? He doesn't know. He hid out with his gang, and he hasn't a clue what happened to Jamie. But if she's alive, why doesn't she call? I know, that's what's driving me crazy, too. Maybe we should hire a private detective or put ads in the paper or we could get a picture of milk cartons like those other kids. We'll do whatever it takes. I promise you that. I don't know who you think you are, but students do not carry weapons at this school. You're suspended. You made my day. Get him out of here. Mr. Corbin. Coburn. Please come in. Thank you. I'm so sorry you had to witness this little incident. I wonder what kind of a dent this made in his allowance. Thank God for security. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. Where was security the night of the prom? Well, no one regrets that tragedy more than I do. Perhaps you could tell me what's going on when kids aren't even safe in a school-sponsored event? Look, Mr. Coburn, you can't blame us. I'm an educator, not a policeman. Although, as you saw, sometimes I'm forced to be both. These kids are bored, so they get into trouble. They're the cushion generation. Parents are afraid. They're afraid to discipline, to lead, to alienate, to offend. And in case you think I'm making a speech, I am. The same speech I made the other night to the PTA. Out of a school of 3,000 kids, six parents came to that meeting. I'm not, I'm not attacking you. Well, you asked me what's going on, and I'm telling you. And this is one of our better schools. What can you tell me about gangs? There's no gang problem here, Mr. Coburn. At least that's what the last principal told me. If you really want to know about gangs, there's one person you've got to talk to. And she's not easy to find.
game. Well, I've never seen a basketball game played like that. That was a basketball game. I'd rather see them going at each other in sports than on the streets. Hey, Amen. Well, some of these kids are in the same gangs as their grandfathers, killing each other over stuff no one can even remember. And it's such a waste. Nobody's grandfather is a member of the Bronx City Stoners. Yeah, you'd be surprised. Miss Adkins seems to think you know them all. And I was hoping that you'd help us with Jamie. Jamie Coburn. You know, the L.A. Gang Project doesn't really deal with runaways. Jamie's not a runaway. What do I have to do to convince me? Her grades were... Exceptional. She had perfect attendance. Back up, back up, back up. Grab it, grab it. Okay, let's go. Yeah. 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 You Mind if I ask you a few questions? You were all over that No, please go ahead. When Jamie wasn't at home, did you know where she was? My wife and I always ask the children where they're going to be. And uh, do you ever check up on their answers? If we trust our children. Miss Velasquez, we're a, a, a very close family. We don't have any secrets. I see. So you got along well with your daughter. Oh. If she had a problem, she was able to come to you and talk it out? Oh. I told Jamie, you have a problem, you come see me first. And did she? Well, she's a well-adjusted child. She doesn't have any problems. Nothing, you know, that you'd consider a real problem. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Coburn. If I hear of anything on the streets, I'll be sure to pass it along. Thank you. Just one more thing. Did you know that for more than a year, in your very close family that has no secrets, your daughter's been a real member of the LFN, one of the worst gangs in the city? Maybe the fan belt, no more than fifty dollars. And suddenly it's a leak in the transmission. They hit me up three hundred. <sighs> What's with you? You always do this. In the middle of a crisis, you go off on a tangent. My business is going to hell, and you're taking the car in. You're cleaning out the closets. It helps me think. Would you prefer I fall apart completely? You're never there when I need you. What's that supposed to mean? I'm doing all the work. You're doing all the yelling. You wonder why I don't ride around the streets with you? Because there's got to be a home for Jamie to come back to, because someone's got to be around for Drew, but mostly because it makes me feel even more helpless. LA's so damn big, it just seems hopeless. even talk about it. It's not my car. I'm upset about Jamie. And you know real well when you say I'm never there for you, you mean you're still angry about what happened. I had a 10-minute fling that I'll regret the rest of my life. I can't even believe it happened. Nothing like it ever will again. I want this marriage. I love you, Tim, and I love you very, very much. Damn it, I love you. Pull over. What? Just pull over. I thought you were going to leave me. You scared me. So you don't know when, but the LFN is planning to take down the dragons. Damn. Where? In Dime Alley? In the park? Where? OK. Call me back if you get anything. Hey, man, Shooter, you owe me one. 
Okay. Bye. Where were we? How could Jamie be in a gang without us knowing it? Is it possible you're wrong? She calls herself Shadow. She's been going with Rocket, who's the head of the LFN, for about six months now. She told us six weeks. Look, you gotta understand. I mean, these kids con everyone, including themselves, and they cover for each other, too. Not you. Oh, my God. Look, I admire your loyalty. But you're just like all of these other well-meaning parents who have no idea what is going on. Shoot her. Oh, Richard, I can't talk right now. Can I call you back? Friday? Uh, well, look, barring disaster, it's a definite maybe. <laughs> Me too. All right. See ya. Bye. I'm sorry. If you knew about Jamie, why didn't you come and tell me? Well, until you showed me her picture, I, I had no idea what her real name was. Did you try finding out? You think I just came down with the rain? I have been doing this for five years. I work 16-hour days and nights, and you've seen what I do with my spare time. Look, in the past, if I were able to get a kid's name and address, I would go to his house to talk to his parents. Guess what? They were never home. Lot was jammed. Where's your mother? Dad, she started crying again. Oh. Oh, there she is. Please be advised, taxi service is available outside all the airports. I'm not going, Chuck. Sweetie, you gotta go. And if you don't go, something happens, you'll never forgive yourself. Oh. But if I do go and something happens here. I'll never forgive myself. You're asking me to choose between my mother and my child. No. Oh. Catherine, we're, we're partners, you and me, right? You gotta let me hold the base down here because you're the only one your mother's got. Chuck, don't make me, I can't. I, I just can't leave her. Catherine, I know how you feel, but you don't have any choice. We don't have any choice. And maybe your mother's stroke isn't so serious and She'll be okay, and you'll be right back. And they made this thing called a telephone. And I'll be on it every minute. This is a final boarding call for flight number 599 to Boston. All passengers... You gotta go. Now. <sighs> Tell Grant I love her. You take care of your father, okay? I was told your sister was a member of the LFN. Is that true? No.
Are you the owner, Harvey? Yes. I had to play the game to get to you. Ah. Clever. Thanks. So how can I help you? I need a favor. Yeah? We found her membership card, so we figured she came here a lot. Well, like I said, I'll do what I can, but, you know, I'm not here very much unless there's some kind of a problem or something. Uh, and, I understand. And, and, and so many kids come through here that, uh... This is Jamie. Mm-hmm. And this is our number, and if you wouldn't mind telling your staff to contact us, if they should mm. see her. Yeah. Well, you know how kids are. I yeah. mean, if they know her father's looking for her, then... Uh... Yeah, well, uh, thank you. I think we're really on the track. It was a damn good idea, yours, Drew. If we leave a picture of Jamie in every place she used to go, somebody's bound to see her. Get in touch with us. That's all I could think of. It's good. Ready for Earthquake? That's the name of the store? Yeah, she got a lot of her stuff there. the get-up from the earthquake place. I never saw her in that kind of clothing, did you? No, Dad. You know, that was really a good idea of yours. Jamie, maybe being up at the cabin, well, while you were in a john, I called Tahoe. The police are going to check it out. You're really a smart kid. Does that mean you listen to me, and next time vote Democrat? <laughs> you run for president, I'll vote Democrat. Got to be a millionaire to get into politics. Well, and I'll make you another deal. You find something that you really want to do with your life, something that makes you happy, I'll back you, no matter what it is. That's all I ever wanted for you kids. To have choices. And be happy. Go wash your hands, I'll put on the stakes. Okay, Dad. Oh, Drew. I was wondering, you know, at the airport, Asked you about the LFM. How'd you know what it was? I hear kids talk about it at school. What did they say? Did they ask you to join? No. And you're certain your sister had nothing to do with them? Not that she ever told me. in the street, probably tossed from a car. Is this her dress? We won't really know if it's her blood until we get the lab reports. It'll take about a week. We'll handle the press. We won't have to talk to anybody. She's dead. Don't write a novel about the dress. I think that Tazi has her stashed away somewhere, hoping he can trade her in for part of a plea bargain. 
We're going to check out the tunnels right now, see if we can come up with anything. I'm going to take you the long way so that I can check out the bathrooms. Sometimes kids sleep in them. Can things be so bad at home that kids will actually sleep in a public toilet? Sure. When at home, they're ignored, or they have no rights, or when there's too much pressure. Pressure? What kind of pressure do these kids have? I, I've got pressure. I've got a business to run. I've got a family to feed. What kind of pressure do these kids have? Do people like me? I've got to get good grades. Will I make the team? Learning to live with divorce, or even a step-parent. You see, they have all of the stress with none of the adult mechanisms to cope. For teenagers, sex is a big issue. While well, the changes that their bodies are going through, I mean, they even lose sleep over the state of the world. Dreams like that. I always thought it was an excuse not to do something worthwhile, but maybe he really believes it. I'll be right back. Nice weather, huh? What? You looking for something, uh, special? What do you mean? 20. Get out of here. Billy! Billy! You know this kid? Do you know what he tried to do? I can guess. I'm sorry, man. I thought you were shopping. Hey, don't you ever talk to Candyman. I've been looking for you for over two weeks. I got a letter from your mother. She'll send you a bus ticket. Right. One way to nowhere. Look, I gotta go. Stay in touch. Hey, I care about you, you jerk. Come on. You see that? Not us, N A T A S. That's Satan spelled backwards. You're kidding. These kids actually worship the devil? A small percent. The, uh, the swastikas and the pentagrams are mostly for shock value. Now, the kids don't even know what they mean. Well, I'll tell you, it scares the hell out of me. What am I supposed to do? Sell my business and go off to Kansas? And people in Kansas are wondering if they should move. <laughs> suppose. See, unfortunately, there are kids all over the country who live lives their parents know nothing about. You've got to be able to pick up on their signals. Well, I might be able to pick up on them, but... I mean, what does it mean? Look at this. Do you have a degree in hieroglyphics? 90% of my job is listening to kids. Well, what's the point? Why come to some dark, damp tunnel and spray your name with paint? You know, it's sort of like cavemen. They define their turf. It's a symbol of, of ego, identity, manhood, strength, existence. And all this means something to you? Oh, yeah. yeah. I can tell who's in what gang, who's got a chip on their shoulder, who's angry at whom. Now, here's what I wanted to show you. This is new. Who's Bambi? Uh, Jenny. And Jamie's shadow. Yeah. But it's crossed out. Does that mean that... No, all that means is that Tazi's gang is after her, and we figured that, right? No. She's dead. That's what this proves. She's dead. No, 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 no. Now, Rocket's name is crossed out, and he's not dead. Look, if Tazi's gang doesn't have Jamie, I bet you the LFN is hiding her. You really think so? Yeah. I hope to hell you're right. I 
I don't know what Shadow is, but if I see her, I'll let you know. Just a second. Uh, would you like something to eat? Maybe we could talk. Sure. How, how did you get the name Ajax? Because when the cops come, I always get away clean. Because of your age? I'm 16. You're how old? 14. How long have you been on the streets? Two years. Of course, back then I had a street mother. A what? Someone who kind of looks after you. Who cares if you live or die? You didn't have that at home? It's never been there. Hmm. How do you stay alive? Doing this and that. Sometimes I freelance. Aren't you, aren't you afraid of the uh, AIDS or? Won't happen to me. And if it ever does, who cares? There's lots of things worse than dying. You're such a smart girl. I mean, it's none of my business. But what about your future? You ought to be in school. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm really sorry. Did, did you know Jamie uh, Shadow? Did you, did you know her well? Did she ever talk about her? Her family, or... She's in trouble, huh?
I, I love her very much. I'll help you find her. Why? Because nobody ever came looking for me. Where the hell have you been? Do you know what time it is? Hi, Dad. Don't give me that. You said you were going to be out a couple of hours. You had me worried sick. You weren't home. Don't push me, boy. We studied like I told you. Then we went out looking for Jamie. Brad was helping me, weren't you? You know you're not supposed to be out this time of night. What's the matter with you? Do you think you and Mom are the only ones who care about Jamie? Well, she's my sister, and I thought we could find her. Oh. Sorry. I'm exhausted. I couldn't stand it if something happened to you, too. It's okay, Dad. Brad's gonna spend the night. Yeah. Well, you better get upstairs and go to sleep right away. Oh, Drew? Do Brad's parents know that he's here? Oh, yeah, they said it was okay. Don't you trust me, Dad? Chuck, please call me, darling. It's me again. Call when you can. Chuck, this is Shakti. I know how much you want to find Jamie, but promise me, please, that you won't hit the streets alone. It's a war zone out there. Mom? Daddy? Are you there? Please, I need... Thank God, I've been calling all night. Did you check the machine? I just got in. I was trying to get you earlier. Oh, I was at the hospital. Then interviewing home nurses. I think I found someone to take care of mother. Great. Catherine, listen. I got a half a message from Jamie. She's alive. That's all I know. I'm on the next plane home. Great. I'll see you tomorrow. Chuck? You want to hear something funny? Of all the times I could have quit, I picked now to try and stop smoking. 
love you, honey. So Mercurio pulled off a minor miracle and got it through. The lab report said that the blood on Jamie's dress was Jenny's. That's a relief. Yeah. Did you hear from her again? No. Well, at least we know that she's still alive. That's why we've got to find Tazzy. You know that, uh, girl, Ajax? She really got to me. For somebody that, uh, I spent, uh, what, 10 minutes with? I feel I, I know her better than Jamie or Drew. While. Yeah. You know, um, we could be sitting the stake out for nothing. They might have nabbed Tazi at the other end. I'm gonna call in. The market's gotta have a payphone. I'll be right back. I'll be waiting. Ajax! think you are, Dirty Harry. You behaved like a stupid, middle-class, deaf gringo. Haven't you been listening to me? You could have gotten yourself killed. Ajax, calm me. My heart went out to that kid, and she calmed me. When the hell am I going to learn? When you learn to listen. She said that she would help you find your daughter, not that she was going straight. But the police got a line on Tassie that's worth something, right? Come on. I used to hate cops. When I was a kid, I was in a gang. You? 
Yeah. You think the white girls would ever let me forget that my mother was black and my father was Puerto Rican? Being a chola was the only way I could get respect. The worst part was that I started to see my parents through everybody else's eyes. A maid and a gardener going nowhere. How old were you? I got jumped in when I was 13. Jumped in? Well, it's an initiation of sorts. The girls beat on you, you fight back, and if you survive, you're in. Sounds charming. What turned you around? I did time for assault with a deadly weapon. <laughs> <laughs> when I was in jail, not one of them, not one of my gang ever came to see me or wrote to me or anything. Suddenly, that family that I thought I had just disappeared. But luckily, the family that I'd neglected was still there for me. And when I got out, I just, I never went back. If you don't like being disillusioned, how do you stand a career and do gooding? Well, I guess I just don't have very high expectations. I consider the L.A. gang project a success if we can save even one kid. I keep asking myself what I could have done differently. Uh, you know, the only trick that I know is just to get kids just to talk everything out. And to remember that they're people, not status symbols. So many parents, they get into this, my kid drives a better car than the neighbor's kid syndrome, you know? Yeah, I've done that. And there's more. My wife and I were having uh, marital problems, and we were very careful not to let the kids. Our kids know. Yeah, they're very, very smart. You think Jamie knew? Yeah. And if Jamie knew, you could bet that Drew did too. One of the reasons kids get into trouble is because they're afraid that their parents are going to split up. So they start to make their own decisions, sort of insulate themselves with another kind of family, the kind that gangs provide. How do I say this uh, without sounding like I'm coming on to you? I guess we'll never know, will we? Yeah. Oh, Mrs. Ross. Yeah. Uh-huh, I did see Billy. Looks fine. Uh-huh. Yeah, I told him about the bus ticket. His brother's in town? In about an hour? Yeah, I can be there. Get you something to eat? Well, not for me, thanks. I ate on the plane, such as it was. How about you, Drew? Well, I was supposed to go over Brad's house. His mom invited me over since you weren't here. We were going to do homework. Well, you go on, honey. I'm just going to take a hot shower and go to bed. Okay. Good night. Good, Good night. night. I missed you, Kat. Hello. It's Mercurio. They've got Tassie. <sighs> Too bad we can't string the punk up by his thumbs. What did Tassie say? Where's Jamie? Is she all right? Tassie claims he hasn't seen Jamie since the night of the killing. All this, and we're right back to square one. Everyone's trying. Yeah. Yeah. Every adult I've talked to has the best intentions. 
If the way to hell is paved with good intentions, where the hell does best intentions get you? Sorry? If Tassie doesn't have her, then what? I've checked out 20 shelters, 40 squats. Trouble is, you looked at 40, and there are probably 400. Mr. Coburn, comes a point when you've got to get on with your life. You don't get it, do you? Until my daughter's home, I don't have a life. Thank you very much. I wish I could have been more help. I, I know of one more thing. Yeah. The Underground Club. It's sort of like a floating crap game. The location changes every week. Yeah. Overheard one of the kids talking about it? On Imperial and Hadley there? Right. Yeah, I know about that one. That's my next stop. Hey, good luck. Come on, let's get out. Let's looking for Jamie. Want to lay that on me again? Or how about, don't you trust me, Dad? You must have thought it was a riot when I asked you about the drugs. Get rid of that damned earring. Take it off. Ow. I don't blame you. How could I have been so stupid? And with all this going on, I 
thought we were getting closer, but you were conning me all the time. Do you want to know why I go to those clubs? It's exciting. It's where my friends are, and they listen to me. Every time I try to tell you how I feel, you just change the subject. Well, you've got my attention now, kid. Look how I got it. Who said I graduated from Parent Perfect? Dad, you don't like me. Drew, you're crazy. I love you. Oh, yeah? Then how come you ask me questions but never listen to the answers? You don't want to talk about what's important to me. Every Thursday you play poker, every Sunday you play golf, and when you're not with your friends, you're at work. I don't fit in! Guilty. But with an explanation. What? You and Jamie mean more to me than anything. And I'm always trying to give you everything. And I guess in the process, I've cheated you out of the one thing you need the most. My time. Jamie! understand I'm only here to help. Jamie wants to tell you what she told me. Remember, it wasn't easy for her to come home. Uh, Jamie, your mother and I have learned a great deal since you've been gone. And now that you're home, we want you to help us uh, make some changes. Jamie told me that at first she stayed away because of the shock of seeing Jenny get killed. And then she was afraid. She knew that you both would find out about her association with the LFN. Jamie. Can't you tell? I haven't always been straight with you. But you haven't been with me either. But after Jenny was... I left Rocket and that's over now. Where were you? Where did you go? The first week I hung out with my friends from LFN. You mean the parents knew it? No. We wait for them to go to sleep. They let me in the window. And after that, I was on the street. I asked people for change. Oh, my God. No. You could go into these details later if you want. The most important thing is that Jamie wanted to come home. And I know that Given half a chance, you can work out something that's honest. And that you can learn to trust each other again. Can I go to bed now? Oh, of course, honey. You must be exhausted. Come on. I'll run you a hot bath. We just can't thank you enough. 
Jamie. I love you. I love you. Good night, Daddy. for me to hit the road. Just be patient. Well, if things don't go perfectly, and all this happen again, and what about the drugs? Well, I can steer you to a family program. You might consider changing her to a new school. You just have to take it one day at a time. Yeah. We're the lucky ones. We're alive and... and we're together. And uh, you have my number if you need anything. Stay safe, my friend. Never. Where do we begin? <laughs>